All right. So one piece of feedback that we hear a lot, right, is the Colonial Pipeline scared a lot of people at right? having this enterprise to industrial connectivity can be very, very concerning, right? And having two disparate teams uh, can be a recipe for disaster, right? So having the IT and the OT organizations work together, having tools being used uh, harmoniously between the two groups is very, very valuable, um, but not being forced into that as well. So I want to make sure it's very clear that when you deploy uh, dark trace into your environment, you have a lot of flexibility. Like I mentioned, the IT and the OT connectivity, but if you would like to be fully air-gapped or fully disconnected, that is a possibility as well. Uh, so we're very flexible when it comes to the, to the deployments. But yes, primarily at the moment, we're hearing the most of IT and OT connectivity. And as we're seeing more and more research, and there's a lot of great companies out there correlating a lot of the events and giving us some great insight on these attacks, we tend to see year after year after year, the trends are going, the large majority, if not all of the OT attacks truly are coming from the IT side of the house. Now, there's very few OT direct attacks. Uh, so definitely something to be considering and, and, and something uh, for you to keep at the top of your radar when thinking about different attacks and different projects and security controls you can put in place inside your environment. So when we talk about different case studies, one of the things that our clients talk a lot about is, hey, COVID kind of put us into this remote work situation, and we're only continuing to do more and more of that. We have a lot of additional remote access and a lot of remote connectivity. How do we control that? Well, you can control that through typical security measures, no worries. But how do you control insider threats or uh, a lot of different other things where right? granting remote access is sometimes required and it's necessary and it's very important for the operation of the facility. However, it does increase and open up the attack factor uh, drastically. So we want to make sure we're putting the right controls in place. We want to grant the necessary access for operations. We want to make sure that we have some control in place as well. Dark Trace has the ability to respond as well to, to not only detect. So when we detect a threat, when we detect an anomaly, we can actually put a stop to that anomaly through different means. Um, we do that through our dark race respond uh, platform. And that does it through either sending the communication ourselves. So with inside of the platform, dark race will send TCP reset packets and halt very surgically, just the activity that is deemed as anomalous, or we leverage our vendor partners. We have partnerships with CrowdStrike and Cisco and Palo and many, many, many other vendors where we can send a, a hook over to a, a Cisco switch and say, hey, administratively down this port, uh, this machine is very suspicious, or send an alert to CrowdStrike to quarantine a device or something along those lines. So empowering our end users to say, hey, we're going to give you the best in class detection. We're going to alle alleviate the noise. And when you see something in the platform, you need to take action. You need to do something about it. And then not providing our end users with the ability to stop that is, is, is something that we saw was something that we definitely couldn't do in the market. So we included that ability and we're very proud of the ability to respond and stop these activities, right? Detection is great, but if we're not able to stop it, it's only a matter of time before these attacks spread or cause drastic or, you know, safety issues. All these facilities, there's lots of safety concerns. Uh, so that's something we definitely have to be consider about. Very controlling in a way, but if we see very, things that are very, very suspicious and very, very blatantly someone has taken advantage of remote access solution or someone has obviously shared credentials for remote access solution with other vendors or other people and we're seeing exfiltration of data and things like that. We want the ability to put a stop to that, put eyes on that for one, but put a stop to that very, very, very quickly for our clients. Mm -hmm.